Hey there guys, my name is Hal, and as you can see, this is my start in the racing slash content creating journey. Uh, I'm gonna have this voiceover going over with the video. Um, so I've been making TikTok videos for Star Citizen for a little bit. Uh, I have no following really by any metric, and I wouldn't even say I'm a good content creator. But I've been really wanting to make YouTube videos for a while now, and I've kind of been trying to figure out where I fit into that space, uh, especially because Star Citizen is such a niche thing for content creation, and especially because it's dominated by a good four or five YouTubers, and I, I think we all know who I'm talking about. I'm not going to put names out there, but we all know who are the top dogs. And so yeah, I've been kind of trying to figure out where I belong uh, in this space, and I recently gave racing a try. Uh, I got the uh, Fury LX, and I actually really enjoy it. I feel like it makes me become a better pilot, and I work two jobs. And so this, in my opinion, is a slightly easier way for me to make content without having quite literally the time available to maybe dedicate to content creating and video making that I would other otherwise have. Um, and so yeah, and so what you guys are watching here is actually my first online race. Uh, I've only been practicing on courses otherwise. There was only one other person in this race, and as you have already heard and seen here, uh, that person and I are fairly even matched, I feel like. They passed me at least three times, briefly. Um, I don't think at any point in the video do you see this person pass me, but um, you can definitely hear, at least in the raw audio, you can hear his engines not too far behind, and so it was, it was fairly close. Um, of course, my first race is on what I think may be the longest track in Arena Commander. It's what, uh, it's 44 checkpoints, and it's a long race. Uh, I believe the whole video spans about five minutes, give or take. Um, so, yeah, it kind of wore down on me a little bit because I was just so stressed not knowing where this guy was. Um, obviously, I am by no means a good racer, and you can search up some other YouTube uh, channels that do racing exclusive content, and people out there are nuts. Um, this is something I'm more doing for my own enjoyment, and I just hope people would enjoy kind of joining me on the journey. Um, but yeah, I'm not a good racer. But my hope is, is as I continue to make content, uh, as I continue to improve my piloting skills, that I will hopefully improve uh, as a racer. Um, I think part of that equation is going to be getting better uh, setup. I have a Hotas right now. It's a cheap Thrustmaster, but I want to get a dual stick setup, preferably really nice ones eventually. Um, I feel like that would just make my piloting in general a whole lot better, but we'll see. That's a, that's a money investment, you know. And again, I don't have a ton of time as it is. Um, as you guys have already seen throughout this clip, I um, I've, I kind of lost control a lot of times here and there. Uh, I pulled too many Gs a good three or four times, nearly blacked out, really messed up my control. Um, and that is something I could definitely improve on. Um, and yeah, it's just one of those things. And so, yeah, um, as far as future content for this channel, I think, and I, I, you know, I don't know this for a fact because, you know, there's so many different things I want to try, but I think as far as YouTube videos go, I might exclusively stick with racing content, and then my TikTok channel may be kind of a variety. I don't know, that may be subject to change, you know, it may end up being that my YouTube channel is a variety of content, but we shall see. Um... Anyways, yeah, I feel like this was a good first race. I'm glad it was just one other person. Um, you know, I'm kind of trying to slowly ease my way into the scene and kind of figure out kind of where my skill level really is at. Um, granted, I feel like these courses here, where you got rings in the sky, take a whole lot less um, skill than, say, the snake pit. Which, uh, funny enough, my first TikTok video uh, for racing was in the snake pit. And at the time, I actually had no idea that that was arguably the hardest track, if not, like, the second hardest. And then when I uploaded it and I sent it to a buddy, my buddy was like, you realize, like, that's the hardest track, like, at least, you know, again, arguably. I was like, no, I didn't have any idea. Now, it took me quite a few tries um, to get a good run out of that for a recording. Um, but I really enjoyed the Snake Pit. I thought that that was an awesome track. And so... Yeah, anyways, we're uh, coming up on the end of this race. Uh, time flies, and uh, if you guys have any feedback uh, for future videos, please let me know, whether that be not doing a voiceover the whole video, um, or maybe if you guys have any communities to direct me to so that I can get real experience of proper races and stuff. Uh, that would be much appreciated. But uh, to anyone that is tuning in, thank you so much for tuning in.
see you next time.